Hello friends, this video on respiration in organisms part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now based on whatever we have learned about the different parts of the respiratory system, we can say that certain parts of the respiratory system act as conducting parts. That is they help in, they just help in conducting. They just provide a path. They just help the air to move from one place to another. And there are certain parts of the respiratory system which actually help in exchange of gases, which actually help in exchange of the oxygen and carbon dioxide. So let us see which of these parts fall un uh, under the category of conducting part and which of these fall under the category of exchange part. So we have spoken about all of these so far. So if you start from nostrils, what do they do? You just breathe in, so the air is passed through the nostril. So it helps in conducting the air, just allowing it to pass through it. Then the air goes to the nasal cavity. So the nasal cavity also allows the air just to pass through it. Then it passes through the pharynx. Pharynx also does the same thing. It is not doing any special job. No exchange of gases is taking place here. It is just that the air is traveling through this path. Then the air travels through the trachea, from trachea it travels to the bronchi, from bronchi it will travel to the bronchioles and from bronchioles it will finally reach the alveoli. But once it reaches the alveoli, what happens? It is no more conducted. So that is the place where actual exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide take place. So oxygen will be given to the blood vessels and carbon dioxide will be given by the blood vessels to the alveoli. So that exchange of gases, real exchange happens at alveoli. So that is why from nostrils to bronchioles, all of these together form the conducting part of the respiratory system and alveoli form the exchange part of the respiratory system because this is the site of actual exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between blood and the atmosphere. Atmosphere means the environment outside the blood. Right? And all these conducting part, what do they do? They just allow the air to pass through each of them and at the same time they also try to block the foreign particles. They also try to block any uh, uh, germs or microorganisms with the help of cilia or with the help of hair like structures or mucus. So it does that. But Basically, it just allows the air to pass in while breathing in as well as while breathing out. Because while breathing out also, these blood vessels will give carbon dioxide to alveoli. Then again, the carbon dioxide will pass to the uh, bronchioles, then to the bronchi and then finally to the trachea. From trachea, it will go to the pharynx and then finally through the nostrils, it will be breathed, breathed out. So in this case also you see all of these other parts, they just allowed conduction of the air. So they did not do any kind of exchange of gases. So this is about the human respiratory system. So I hope that by now you got to know that uh, how do we undergo the process of respiration and what are the organs which together form our respiratory Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.